just look at me. To your left, and then we'll stop there for that demo then. Okay, so uh, first off, just name and spell it for me in, in the title and your company. Sure. Uh, the company is Ratmatch, uh, W R A P M A T C H. Uh, we're a vehicle rewards company. Okay, and yeah. your name? My name is Brad Cahoon. Okay. C A C A H O O N. Okay. Yeah. And how long have you guys been around? Uh, it's been about three years. So obviously, you know the reason we're here. I mean, kind of what sparked it. So there's, you know, we've gotten a number of complaints. Better Business Bureau. You look on other internet sites. There's, there's been com a lot of complaints, at least from, uh, from what we've gathered. So, I guess my thoughts are, are they legitimate? The complaints that you're receiving. It, you said before. Have you guys made mistakes along the way here? What happened? Sure. So, uh, first of all, we we look at all reviews online. You know, positive and negative, uh, and. Uh, you know, they're all really important to us. Uh, what we've noticed is uh, in responding to uh, negative reviews online is that oftentimes the reviewers leave a negative review before they come and talk to us to try and resolve the concern. So that, I mean, that obviously makes it, you know, makes it a little bit difficult for us. Um, and uh, the, the problem, I mean, we have no problem with, you know, the most important thing is to resolve the concern for the customer. Um, but uh, the problem gets a little bit bigger with review sites when after a, a concern has been resolved, there's no way for the reviewer to go back and hit edit or delete on these review sites. Uh, and so, you know, maybe to the rest of the world it looks like we've gotten unresolved concerns, um, but, you know, we, we take that really seriously. And if there's anything outstanding, you know, we want to know about those things. Uh, if there's any re, you know, refunds that need to be issued, get a hold of us. Uh, you can get a hold of us uh, via email at help at ratmatch.com uh, and, and also by calling us 1-800-258-9062 and pressing option two to get to our customer service department. Because that was one of the problems, at least if you read online and a couple of the people we spoke with too, they said getting a hold of you guys was one of their biggest challenges. They couldn't get anyone. Sure, and, uh, and to that I say, um, if there's been an outstanding problem like that, I personally would like to know about that. That is 100% my responsibility. Um, so, you know, my personal email address is brad at ratmatch.com, and if that needs to be resolved that way, I need to know about that. In a nutshell, what's your company do? So we're a vehicle rewards company. Uh, we match about 2,000 drivers uh, every month, um, and we match those drivers with, a, with an advertisement that'll allow them to get paid by just simply driving as they normally do. Uh, you know, we're, uh, we're really excited about where we've come, um, and I think, you know, <laughs> We've thought about announcing this, you know, under normal circumstances, but I guess now is a good time as any. But we've we've locked down some really big national contracts that allow us to match any driver uh, as soon as they sign up online, and that's regardless of what they drive or even where they drive. How quickly do you match people up? Because I know that's been one of the com complaints. People saying, "Hey, you know, weeks, months have gone by. I haven't been matched with anyone, and I'm paying the premium." Yeah, you know, we match everybody immediately now. Every, on, on everybody's profile there are um, eight to ten, depending on their area, campaigns available for them the second that they sign up with us. Uh, and that's really what we're focused on, uh, on improving our business. And what's that mean then? If they get, that means they get someone right away, so you're saying within days or weeks they would get uh, you know, one of the decals to put on their car? It's, it's immediately. Yeah, it's immediately. After they've gone through our, our account activation process with one, with one of our phone reps, um, those campaigns are available on their, on their online profile. They simply have to uh, confirm their shipping address and, uh, and opt into the campaign. We can't force anybody into a campaign. Nobody wants to advertise for a company that they don't like. Um, so we leave that up to the driver as an option. You read online, people we spoke with, they say it's a scam. What's your response to that? Yeah, again, if there's anybody that has an outstanding concern, please get a hold of me directly. Uh, brad at ratmatch.com is my email address. Uh, we, uh, we're really proud of what, we're, what we've created here. It's been a long time coming. We, uh, we've gone through all the growing pains of any other startup and uh, maybe more, <laughs> you know, but we're really excited about where, where, you know, where we've come to. Have you made some mistakes along the way? Every startup makes mistakes. How about people who have said that I haven't got refunded? I want to be refunded. I can't get a hold of them. I know you said, you know, you give them the, the phone number and your email, but have you taken care of all the people that you know of who have not been refunded or have had an issue? Sure. Like I said, if there's anybody else that, that we haven't gotten to, it's because I have not been made aware, and I would love to, to you know, to make that right. If there's anybody, like I said, that, that needs that, uh, please get a hold of me directly. You said things are different now from what they were three months ago. What's the big difference? Uh, it, really, the changes have come from you know over three years. Uh, before, you know, uh, we launched a website at the very beginning, not knowing if anybody would really even care about this. 
and uh, much to our chagrin, we had a ton of drivers signing up and, uh, and very few businesses uh, signing up for this advertising form. Uh, so really... Um, was that one of the mistakes? Uh, no, that was probably our greatest, uh, greatest win, I think. Uh, the fact that we could get a user acquisition channel simply by launching. Startups don't get like that. But if they don't ever want anyone to match up with, is that an issue? Yeah, the issue, if you're, if you're charging uh, for a service and you don't have any back end, that's obviously an issue. Uh, and we knew that we had a big responsibility as soon as we changed from a, a free service to a paid service, that if we were going to start taking people's money, we also had to have a guarantee in place. And, and that guarantee, uh, you know, is a money back guarantee. It's, it's an open-ended refund policy that if anybody's unhappy for any reason, they can get their money back. Better Business Bureau, other people will say, hey, any company that asks you to pay money up front, big red flag. What would you say to that? Sure. Uh, since our inception, we've been labeled as a job. Rap match is not a job. Uh, we call ourselves a vehicle rewards company. We're a service. And just like any other service that you would, uh, you would pay for, uh, you have to pay for our service, our matching service. It just so happens that the service you pay for can also make you money in return. So this is not a job I sign up. This is not like any other company I'm going to work for. <laughs> yeah, please don't replace this with your income. Keep working. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So uh, as far as the money that people make, how do they get paid? Uh, people get paid on their, on their profile uh, by cashing out every time they've made a commission, uh, and that money is paid to them via PayPal. Okay. Is that like as soon as somebody, I, I'm, I'm assuming, so somebody calls in, they put whatever that unique code is in there, so uh -huh. um, if that person signs up with, say, the, the mortgage company, then they'll get a percentage. Is that right? It's a percentage. Uh, most, I mean, most of the time, it's actually just you know a straight commission uh, for that sale. It, and you know, it's uh, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, the campaigns that we've launched with, like I said, that we're really proud of the national campaigns that we've gotten. Uh, those campaigns are immediate. It is real time. It's all you know based on computer software from the back end. And as soon as they've made a commission, it's visible on their profile and what we call their mobile wallet. And at what point they have their money. Uh, they can cash out uh, by hitting one button and, uh, and, and selecting cash out via PayPal. I was reading something with gift cards. Is that a part of yeah, this? Our yeah, our premium members, um, they, uh, we wanted to make it uh, a better deal for our premium members. And so all premium members, every single campaign that they select comes with a base payment of gift cards um, via you know, restaurant.com uh, to, to, you know, to restaurants in their area. Uh, and that ranges from $25 to $100 just depending on, uh, on, depending on, depending on the campaign. So I guess you sign up for different campaigns. Some get paid with, just so I understand, some get paid with gift cards, others get paid with cash? No, so if you're a premium member, every campaign will come with a base payment of a gift card and a cash commission. So there's, there's a dual comp component to premium members. Basic members, it's just, it's just commission. Okay. What would you say, percent, well, let me ask you this. How many, how many people do you have signed up right now for Rap Match? I'd rather not talk about stats, uh, just for competitive reasons. Um, well, the numbers, I mean, as we talk about the Better Business Bureau and these other sites where you got 50, 60, I mean, whatever number of people who are complaining and, and upset about it. So sure. I'm trying to gather for percentage reasons okay, yeah, the number of people that are complaining from. as to how many people are maybe satisfied or are, are yeah. happy with the service. Yeah, like I said, um, we take all, you know, reviews, positive or negative, really seriously. We look at all of them. In our internal analysis, uh, the ratio is 0.0017% are negative reviews. Uh, and, uh, and that might sound like a really low number, but we'd rather that number be zero, and we probably wouldn't be, you know, be chatting. <laughs> uh, but obviously, uh, you know, we're a startup. We've, uh, you know, we've tried really hard to, uh, to, to have a service uh, that really kind of encapsulates what we've, you know, really worked for, uh, which is getting people, you know, paid to advertise in their vehicle. You were talking to me before about the, the vehicle check, the $25 that goes through DMV. Uh, as I mentioned, uh, you know, the one woman we spoke with said she wanted a refund for that because, you know, $25, and she, she did some checking and found out, well, you guys didn't even check her, sure. check her record. Yeah, so um, every driver that, that, uh, that signed up under the pretense of having a driving record and background check, that was a requirement that uh, we felt was, was necessary because of what the businesses were telling us. They didn't want to have some driver, you know, with a DUI, you know, driving, you know, with their, with their, their brand on the back of their car. And so that's really where that, uh, that evolution of our business came from. Um, and uh, and what, you were, what you're referring to is um, we told all of our drivers that it is not a driving record check. 
we tried really, you know, we were we tried to be really explicit um, uh, that it's not a driving record DMV check that you go and get from the DMV. What it is is looking for DUI convictions, um, and what that is, it's a, it's a, it's a criminal report uh, that we were pulling at that time, which uh, that business model didn't work out for us, and, and we changed away from it. So you don't charge the $25 anymore? No, absolutely not. To get started, uh, we just charge for the decal that you get on the back of your car. It costs $5 to get started. But the $25 then was for a criminal check, not a check with the DMV. Yeah, it, it's, it's, uh, it's exactly what, uh, you know, what we were getting from the businesses, right? Businesses want to know that the driver wasn't going to drive like a crazy person with their brand on the back of their car. And so, what they, you know, what they were calling for was, uh, you know, some peace of mind. And we got that uh, in a cost-effective way uh, by going through uh, DMV records that were DUI convictions only. Are you happy with the way business is going right now? Business has never been better. We're really excited about the direction that we're going. Um, we're excited that we can offer any driver a campaign immediately. We're excited that they can have a base payment uh, of a gift card every month. We're excited that they can earn commissions. And we're excited that the commissions are getting bigger. As we've gotten more recognized in the marketplace, businesses are kind of coming to us. And we're having to turn them away because we've got enough businesses uh, that, uh, that, that want our advertising channel. So we're really happy with where we've come to. Do you guys have anything to hide? No, absolutely not. The number of businesses, can you tell us how many businesses you've got working sure, or yeah. wrapped with uh, yeah. or, or matched with other yeah, people? I, I believe that uh, at our current moment, we're um, at just over a dozen national campaigns. Yeah. Okay. Varying from what? What kinds of business? Uh, we have, uh, you know, an auto insurance campaign. We have uh, a campaign with uh, Dermanova Skincare. Um, we have a campaign for. Um, I mean, really, it's all sorts of things, you know, a, a credit card or, you know, it's just whatever it is. The, the criteria for us is that the, the company can handle scale and drivers on a national level. And that's really what we've geared our, our, uh, our campaigns towards. Are you guys making money? <laughs> I wish we were making uh, uh, a little bit more. There, are, there have been some pretty skinny months, as most startups can attest to. But, uh, you know, we're excited about the future. Do you have anything? No. Okay. Good. Thank all you. Right. Appreciate that. Um, yeah.